Hi, this is Bill Fournette, President and CEO of the Persimmon Group. And today I'd like to share with you the four keys to successful teams. We've been identifying what are the differentiators in teams and businesses, and it used to be effectiveness and efficiency. But now we're looking at four keys that are really the drivers of successful companies versus those that are doing okay, but they're not doing awesome. And the first key is adaptability. How quickly does your team see and assess and change to a situation that it's faced with? Can it take on new things? Can it deal with, with outside forces or changes that are coming from customers? The second is resiliency. Resiliency is the, is the ability of the team to overcome disruption. Think of it like in a football team. You lose your star wide receiver in the first quarter. How does that team adjust on the fly to, to ultimately win that game? How do, just the same way, how does your team overcome disruption that it's faced with, either internal to your business or external forces? And can it actually overcome that disruption quickly, also yielding it to become adaptable? The third is one that we see in so many organizations today. They've grown, they've developed, they have a lot of methods and procedures, but in the end, what we find that they've done is they've overcomplicated their business. They've created so much bureaucracy or noise in how they do things, they're unable to adapt to the complexity in the situation. So the key there is understanding the difference between complexity and complication. Complexity we deal with every day, with human beings, with businesses, complications we do to ourselves. So how can I simplify the way my team approaches things? How can I simplify some of the processes from getting from A to B? The last is judgment. And for every leader of a team or manager of a team, judgment is where you should be focusing right now with your team members. Because what we have is a lot of new people who have come into the workplace who may not understand or know where the questions are they should be asking or may be asking the questions but don't know where to go for answers. As a manager or a leader, you know that when somebody brings you real things at the right time and they've assessed it properly, your confidence in them increases. On the flip side, when you have the person sometimes you think of as the chicken little, the person who everything is the sky is falling, mission critical, your confidence decreases. But the challenge is how many of us as leaders go back to those chicken littles after the fact and say, help me understand, what was it about this particular issue or situation that you felt I needed to deal with immediately? Why did I need to drop everything? If you take that time to coach them a bit and you're developing the judgment, sharing with them the thoughts and questions that go through your mind or that they should be asking in situations, you're gonna enable a team that is thinking ahead of you and bringing you real issues at the right time, bringing you good information because it's more thought through and thoughtful than just bringing you information for you to assess. So to that end, those are the four keys that we see with, with high-performing teams today and organizations. Adaptability, resiliency, understanding the difference between complex and complicated. And lastly, and most importantly, judgment, developing the judgment in your team members. With that, thank you, and we'll see you next time.